this video personally is like when I say scrubber bikes is really saving kids' lives. Like that's uh, the most powerful thing I I can honestly say. It's like you know, scrubber bikes is really saving kids' lives, and you know, with all of the deaths that's been happening, you know, with me personally, it's like you know, this is I give my all into it because it's my passion, you know, and and I'm getting tired of going, you know, repeatedly to funerals and seeing family and friends and. You know, people I know in caskets and, and things of that nature. So it's like, you know, you know, giving giving a piece of me to the community. So you know, when it's that time for me, you know, I left something behind, and that's something that you know a lot of these kids, you know, can't say, especially being at the age of 21 like I am now. Um, I know my biggest, my biggest. Yeah, dream, what's your big idea? What's your big vision? My biggest vision is, you know, like I said, getting a scraper bike shop somewhere a facility where you know not just kids but youth and, and other people you know that's one of that you know that has passions about you know what they want to do you know in their future to come you know and, and you know and, and express themselves you know so cause right now I have kids coming to my house you know in my backyard there's every week maybe 15 to 20 kids just working on bikes and my biggest expense is you know as you can see, the, the tapes and the spray paints and, the, you know, just, you know, safety gear for the kids and, you know, things of that nature. And so, like, when I go out and, you know, doing, I've been getting interviewed for the past possibly three years, you know, based around the scare bike movement, but yet I haven't, you know, haven't seen anything quite to, you know, help me out with, you know, my venture in the long run. So, any questions? Any We'll, we'll save questions to, until the end for everybody. Um, did you want to say anything else? I know you have an event coming up and maybe invite uh, folks yeah, and uh, help spread the word. I would like, definitely like to um, invite everyone. I'm working with and collaborating with the city of Oakland. And this past two weeks ago, <coughs> I've helped, we worked, you know, um, doing the scraper bike camp. We hosted four scraper bike camps at four different parks in Oakland. And so this weekend we're, we're, we're collaborating again on like a big celebration for all those camps and, you know, top it off with a back to school bike ride. And, you know, so we're going to meet downtown Oakland like 11 o'clock and then we're going to ride over to East Oakland or Royal Park where there's been, you know, countless shootings there in the past few weeks. So it's like, you know, just trying to reach those communities that's infected, you know, with, with drugs and gangs and, no violence, and you know, just want to really, you know, do my part and help my community. Right. Thank you, um, Baby Champ. You can tell is a little bit humble about all this amazing work that, that he does. I mean, this is truly a global movement. Um, this whole scraper bike thing didn't even exist really before he started it a few years back, and and. I don't know about you, but I in my neighborhood, I see scraper bikes all over the place. And you've got clubs, like, worldwide, right? Globally? Yeah. Like, like what like, countries? There's, like, Russia, um, Italy, um, Germany. There's just, like, random random countries that send me pictures of their scraper bikes. <laughs> and, you know, making YouTube videos about their scraper bikes. So it's just, wow. like, uh, yep. worldwide, so it's just... Grass, yep. <laughs> it's, it's truly a phenomenon and the way he got started was with a YouTube video that now I think is up to like 3 million hits yeah, so wow. my video is on YouTube it's the original scraper bike video um, you know I was with working with the group the Trunk Boys at the time you know when the video came out and it was just like random that we shot the video we put it on YouTube and it, it soared to 1 million to 2 million and 3 million to this day I've been doing countless things, a lot of events, um, traveling. I just recently came back from Miami. I'm working with the Shoka Youth Ventures, where you know we host our our, event, our monthly dinners here. Um, and I went out there, you know, to spread the word about the scraper bikes, and you know, did a brief presentation about you know what I'm doing in my community because everybody there was change makers and you know the community that they came from. So. All right. So come out to the, the bike ride on the 28th if you can. Uh, Baby Champ will show you how to uh, scrape out your bike. Scrape out your bike, <laughs> as, they, as they say in the, in the movement.
Um, and one of, one of the things really wonderful about this is that this is a very local innovation, right? It's gone, it's gone global. It's just, you know, it's, it's blowing up all over the place. And so it really brings home that notion of deep justice. Justice starts in the community or can and should start in the community and spread outwards. And he's a perfect example of that happening. So thank you, Baby Champ. Yay! All right, well, speaking of...